What they do, what they do, is it where they look? In Savannah Road. And y'all, we been kicking out with Tony Lockett! Like yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah. Ouch. So, y'all, this is Savannah, third time on here. Okay. Yeah, it's your third time here. One time I was in Sherwood, I'm um, in Russellville, now here. I came to Russellville? I mean, you did. You I just started taxiing. No, you. You should have, you should have, bro. You drove to Russellville, bro. I appreciate that. Where's you coming from? You don't even remember? You don't remember that? Abby Jacksonville must have dropped me. Damn, yeah, you drove me. You drove me. I appreciate that, nigga. That's crazy. I appreciate that, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me start you off with a time. Now, how you been? Are you been all right? I've been good. How you been? Hey, man, I'm blessed, bro. I got a baby on the way. Hey, you feel me? I cannot wait to meet my daughter. That's, That's the only thing that really just been on my mind is me meeting my daughter, bro. Like, you I already have a name? Yeah, Zenova. Okay. Zenova May Lucky. Mm -hmm. I can't Who wait came to up? meet her. Uh, she came up with Zenova. She came up with May. She came up. Yeah, she came up. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, I like it. You wait, where y'all get lucky? I was just like, <laughs> You okay. are funny. Okay. Put the name in Apple juice. Mm. Oof. Gladly, I got it. Some good ass apple juice, boy. Oh, drink. Ah. Alright, let me kick y'all with the topic, man. Yeah. No, don't be scared. You're very intelligent. You're very smart. You, uh, I feel like you're gonna answer these very well. Um, <laughs> remember I told you, like, no sex questions and shit like that? I got one, but... I don't like you told me that. But. I ain't tell you that. I used to be telling everybody that because, like, just out of respect for my girl. Like, not on a real freaking yeah. dick and shit, Boom. Would not having sex with your partner raise assumptions? Like, say, if your well, I don't know, if you, I don't know what your relationship status is looking like right now. But say, if you had a boyfriend, right, and he just said he don't want to have sex for like a good two or three months, he just don't want to have sex with you. Would that raise assumptions? Okay, two three months is fucking crazy. First okay. Off. Now, if it's a couple of weeks, I wouldn't be tripping, but it depends if we've been like arguing a lot or if he's been sick, I've been sick, or we've been like, you know. It can't be like, oh no, he just don't, he want to retain his semen. Like, he don't want to, he oh, don't no. want to, you wouldn't, you wouldn't understand that? No. I ain't gonna lie, I told my guy, I said, I, I, every year I get in my molds around this time where I just don't want to, you know, have sex For or that do anything. Long? Two months, probably a month or two, but not three, but a month okay. or two. Honestly, it wouldn't be a problem for me as long as he's still trying to eat. Here you go. You know you said this on the last two. Well, I'm being you honest. Just eat shit. That's how I feel. It sounds like songs. Oh, oh. Um, so that would raise assumptions. If my girl, if my girl told me, yeah, I don't want to have sex for two or three months, I would definitely be curious. Like, what the fuck? What you got going on? You cheating on me? That's how I feel. And then I can't even just tell myself I want to be celibate for a second. And because you just, in random days, you have a good day and then you just, you, know, <laughs> you need some. I've been, I've been celibate for a good, uh, well, I don't want to say celibate. I think we use that word wrong. I've had no sex. The longest I've had no sex was probably three months. That's when I was single. No, that's when I was single, though. Well, then that's not hard. Now, relationship? Yeah, that's kind of like crazy. Yeah. Because I mean, sex is also a form of love, like, you know, show. Oh, that's, a ne that's another question I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you that later on. So, your answer was it will raise assumptions. Yes and no. So, men can't just be like, I don't wanna have sex. No. They just can't do that shit. That shit not realistic. Okay, if you don't wanna have sex, then you finna eat something. What? They don't wanna do nothing sexual. Well, I think. They going on a cleanse. Then go get they you fasting. Thing. They fasting from sex. Then go get you somebody from uh, FPC right off the freeway. Wow, that's crazy, <laughs> man. You gotta have sex with your woman. They're, they're gonna assume shit. What man on here is gonna say that they? They're some men listen. There. Some men go through that like they wanna. They wanna cleanse when, themselves. They wanna. They wanna fast. Okay, that's what your bitch for. She cleans you. She wow, you're <laughs> fun. Cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the topic, bro. What? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so my topic is it's okay. I can't. I couldn't put it in an actual question form, but do you believe that it's okay for men to do like the old school where the men pay all the bills and the woman cooks, cleans, oh, like, had a Gucci ring, but the woman's not working? Um, 
I only believe in that if the man can provide that. So hit me out. Like, I'll be me and my girl, we had these conversations, bro. I said, I will do all of that if I'm able to. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm not able to, then you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit just not realistic to me. You know what I'm saying? Then go get two jobs. I'm just kidding. No, you're right though. You're right. You will get two jobs. But then damn, I'm barely at home now. You feel me? I'm barely taking care of my kid because I'm taking care of everything. Oh, well, so no kids. No kids. You're going to have to either. So it's just y'all two living, living on y'all. Just us two. Oh, well, two jobs. Not two. even 30 yet. Better get into a career. Okay, okay, boom. Okay, career as well, you feel me? Uh, But what makes you so comfortable with, like, not working and shit? I'm standing with the man. I just, but would it's you, a dream. You would like to live that lifestyle? You just be at home and... You know, not doing shit with the man out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I would have my own side hustle too, because I have to have my own little money, because, you know. Yeah, because you don't want to get no allowance. I'm going to sign a prenup. you going to sign a prenup? Yep. I mean, I don't disagree with that either. I, I fucks with it. So be cheap. I fucks with it. But, you know, that 50-50 that thing, I've always seen my parents do that my, my whole life. Like, they'll split everything down the middle. You know that's the easiest, but. That, I feel like that's that's. I want to say better, but then again, it's like if I'm paying it for everything and you doing like the cleaning, cooking, and you know, you know all the other good shit. I feel like now you playing your role. Like, okay, you know your role, so stay in your lane. More, see that's see how it sound. <laughs> see how it sound. Like if I'm paying for everything, bro, you shouldn't be telling me how to spend my money. You good? If I'm paying for everything. Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go detail. If I'm paying for everything, you really shouldn't tell me what to do. If I'm paying for everything, see, you see how it sounds. You see just how it sounds. You're paying for it doesn't make the meal on the table. Just because you're paying for it doesn't make you clean house. Just because you're paying for it doesn't take care of you know the fucking laundry or cleaning whatever. Like you doing that because I'm paying for everything. You able to use that stove right there. You able to wash them dishes because I'm paying for everything. You able to cook for me because I'm paying for everything. You able to use that washing and dry because I'm paying for everything. You but see how it is, but it depends on, and it, it, it depends on the type of man you're dealing with. I wouldn't be like that, how everything else. I wouldn't be like that, but I'm just saying like, you want to live, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm giving you the types. If you want to live that way, be prepared what comes with it. You think you can have an easy ass life. Man, this nigga feel like he paying for everything. He gonna go out and fucking do whatever you wanna do because he paying for everything. Not me. Gonna get I'm that just... handle that home. That's the thing. Nah, that ain't enough one. That ain't enough one. I'm giving you scenarios, bro. Okay. You feel me? No, 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 no. I like this topic. This shit might go by. But I'm just saying, though. But, like, y'all be wanting that shit, but are y'all ready to, like, are y'all ready for what comes with that, though? Like this. Me personally, if I'm paying for everything, Cool with everything you know, you cook and clean it. I'm cool with it. Just don't tell me how to spend my money. That's it. Yeah. But I mean, babe, I don't think you should be spending on this. Are you working? But you also got to think like you got to do stuff for your bitch too. If you expect her to do all these things, she got to have Another some thing. assets. I don't too, never call like... my woman my bitch. That shit's so now. Well, we're not talking about sharing. But I'm just saying that's another topic. Go ahead. That's my woman, but okay. Did you supposed to know? Wait, you... wait, what? Did I did I did I miss something? What you just say? Stop. You need to stop. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's say, let's say, let's say. I can't ask you that. Oh, uh, you be saving these out the blue? Okay. Nah, just, just for you. No. Uh, let's talk about this. Whoa. Oh, just tying to that. Is it okay? You got a, you got a boyfriend, right? Mm -hmm. Is it okay for your boyfriend to pay his baby mama rent? No. You know he got. You know he got. You know he got a kid. You know he got a child. But you he, know that. He stay with us. But you know. But it's a, but no. He want to help her out. I don't give a damn. That's his family. Then he better go be with her and build a family. Then he he, he making sure you straight too. I don't give a damn. So that's not okay. No. He making sure his kid is is his good kid, under a he roof. He can stay with us if his. But baby so, mama now, is not so now, so now, so now, but no, 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 no. Able. Now you taking to take care of that child. Now and you, the child can come stay. Now you taking. Now you taking the kid away from his mom. But that's not my problem. He's gonna be coming to a safer, more stable home. Nah, who said they're not stable? 
Well, if she can, if she that's just something she, he. That's just something he want to do. Well, then no. That's not okay. No. To take care of his family. He can buy the kid the stuff that the kid needs. Or, for rent. instance, if let's say the kid had three field trips in a month, right? The baby mama pays her two hundred dollars field trip. She pays six hundred dollars in her pocket. Then the baby dad is like, I wanted to pay for the field trip and gives her six hundred dollars, and she goes spend it how she wants. That's fine. But for him to be like, oh yeah, I want to pay your rent, not nah, nigga. But you will take care care of and you good. I don't give a fuck. But it's a problem for him to go pay his baby mama rent. I don't give a fuck. You better go and eat your baby mama damn booty. It ain't always. Why you think it always boils down to pay her rent? She got different niggas that can pay her shit. What does she don't move like that? Okay then, she better get to moving on the job. So that's not okay. Wow, you taking that kid away from his mama? Negative. She can see him. Well, she get a statement. But you well taken care of, though. Give a da- and the kid will be why, why does that affect you? Because why are you paying it? Why does that affect you? Because if it was the other way around and your baby mama was paying another man's bills, he's taking care of the kid and she's paying his rent, you going to be like, as a man, uh, I never heard of no shit like a woman paying a man rent. Okay. If you but move it, like that, it's, it's, it's a thing. Now you're being one sided. I am. Nah, that shit crazy as fuck. Exactly. That shit crazy. See, men just don't, y'all don't flip things. Y'all take it and run with it, one sided. I look at both sides. Damn. Let me me go to the top of it. But that, damn. I don't get it though. You well taken care of. You good. You getting everything you want. He just throwing a cool thousand dollars up for the rent. Do you want your girl a girl accepting stuff a man offers giving false hope? Like, for instance, say a dude blows me up all the time or sees me at work and he's like, I'm like, I have a boyfriend. Like, I'm no, I'm not trying to fuck with you. Da, da, da. Then he comes up to me and he's like, you know, here's some cash, you know, do whatever you want with it. I knew your birthday was last weekend or something like that. I'll make it up some bullshit. It's but okay, it's okay. I've heard this type of shit. If before. I accept it, is that me giving somebody false hope? Yes. How? If I yes. already told you. You giving this nigga false hope and you disrespecting your boyfriend. Why the fuck is you accepting that? No, I'm not saying that why I have a boyfriend. I'm just saying, oh, like, just oh, in general, bad. like, in general, giving. You accepting gifts, but you you know there's But nothing. you've already told this person a thousand times, a thousand times. Okay, that is a good ass question. Let me break this down. On one end, I understand why you accepting this shit. Should he offering it? Accept it. You already told this nigga no, he's still going. Look it, get yours. Then on the other end, that's fucked up. You know you don't want nothing to do with this nigga. But it's really not. That just means that man is retarded. I'm gonna get into that. <laughs> but you don't want nothing to do with this man, but you accepting everything he's offering you. Some. That's some. Yeah, you giving the nigga false hope. On the other hand, let's talk about this nigga. Bro, if she telling you no, she don't want to be with you, she, bro, stop. Stop. <laughs> you embarrassing yourself. You making us, no, you making men look bad, you feel me? <laughs> you making men look bad, no, don't. He did, he already did that for you. Nah, nah, that's good, nah, that's, nah, that's different, uh-uh. Nah, nah, you can't say that. You can't say that, that's different. All right, anyways, uh, you making yourself look bad. You making me look bad. You playing yourself. You're playing yourself. But you also have to think some men think that they can get a girl after all these gifts. So even if they know, like, okay, she's saying no right now, they're in it for the chase. So they're like, I'm still going to do these things, but I'm going to tell her, like, we don't have to do anything. We don't have to be anything. We don't have to do nothing. That's like, a lie. Well, they say that, but I'm saying that's the chase oh, that's because we're trying to build yeah. up to it, yeah, thinking yeah, that the yeah. woman's gonna fold. Yeah. But then it's like at the end of it, the girl she just wanted to put the put the girl. Yeah. And then they be getting on mad. And you she can't play, boy. I ain't gonna lie, you you silly, you silly as hell. But that's it. It ain't tricking if you got it. But even you tricking. That's but different. You, but you tricking, you still ain't getting that's shit different. from it. You ain't getting shit from it. Tricking is not tricking. Yeah. You yeah. A lot of people hey. don't know the difference between trick and trick. One Tupac said, say, say you giving this, you giving her money, you giving this some money. Just give me the name. My partner, you getting played. What movie that from? I'm telling quizzing people. Oh, shit. 
get that out of there. Bro, this shit looks good. Look at, look, at, look at on the inside. This shit looks so good. Hey, we got some good topics, bro. Hey, you know I'm really kicking it back like to the old talks of Lucky Bro. Like, you know, we drinking apple juice and pink lemonade. Like, it's really on some old talks of Lucky type shit. I ain't, I ain't did this in like a little minute. I mean, you haven't been watching. I haven't did it in a minute. Like, I haven't been doing this type shit in a minute. I thought you just did like three. Yeah, but I wasn't drinking. Oh. So we not drinking now. Look at you, what I'm saying. Yeah. On me, on me, on me. Okay, let's see, let's, let's see, see, let's see. Oh, question. Oh my, oh my God. I feel like we're flying through these topics. No, I'm not. I don't feel like I feel like we could be going in detail with these topics. But you've been giving some good answers, though. No, you've been giving some good answers on me. No, no, you're good. You're good. So, boom. You found out you're pregnant. Man, don't want it. What are you going to do? Get rid of that damn kid. Fuck them kids. I ain't got time for that, especially if you don't want it, bitch. I'm gonna tee the fuck up, whether it's summer, winter, whatever the fuck it is. Get that motherfucker out of me, and then I'm not gonna fuck with that man again because you got me fucked up to be nothing in me. And not wanting your kid. But I don't want it either, see, so. Okay, what if you did want it? He didn't want it. Um, I mean, at that point, I would just have to. I don't know, you gotta be real strong minded for shit like that because then you gotta think like if you are gonna be a single parent or he's Debbie, whether you're getting child support, whether whatever it is, you're still gonna be that child's like main, you know, person. So like yeah. you gotta think about that. It's not gonna you most people will be saying like, yeah, I'm still a kid, they can look dad gonna end up showing up or they gonna trap the dude or whatever and then they be looking dumb. I know some females like that that you got like I just, you know, rather just punch. I'm just <laughs> Um, well, they're not legal. <laughs> I've never had an abortion, so. Um, I, ain't, I ain't having no kids. Told me that. Right, Charlie and me. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, you know, I always tell people, I tell people now, like, Everybody be like, oh, you're going to be such a great father. You're going to be such a great dad. I mean, that's the best compliment ever, you feel me? Because my mom ain't raising a bitch, you feel me? Like, you sure? You know, so, man, you stop trying. Any, sure, if I would. The bitch part of the for it. Anyway. <laughs> funny, bro. I didn't have my real dad in my life, you feel me? So, like, I could imagine, I can't even imagine me not being in my daughter like my little girl. Like, I wanted a daughter, you feel me? One of the girls. So me not being in her life, bro, like, I can't even imagine that, you know what I'm saying? Abortions, bro, um, I can't really speak on too much of abortions because that's that woman's body, you feel me? I can't tell her what to do or what not to do, you know, with her body, you feel me? And if I got, say, you know how I used to, um, what I used to do, like, back in 2021, 2022, if I got any of them female pregnant, bro, like, I would have to just step up and take care of my kid, you feel me? What is funny? You not take me serious, bro? I really do. You're over here, like, smiling ear to ear. Like, now yeah, I could see you being a dad, but, like, back then, back then fuck no. Oh, most people probably say that, yeah. You think you were, like. You ain't gotta bring up nothing. My beard be watching my video. You ain't gotta bring up But if Spider Man suits. Damn, you remember that? Bro, you're <laughs> funny. <laughs> You remember that? You said that on probably one of them. I'll pull up the club. You said that on one of them. Hey, you remember that? I remember that. That's good. I mean, crazy. shit, you know what I'm saying? You you, you go through some shit, you grow through some shit, you feel me? Don't do that shit ever again. Nah, my girl doing that type of time now. Hell yeah. The Spider Man? Wait, what? Just some else. Man, we got the anime music playing oh in the background and shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Don't tell me. Shit's fun. I gotta tap in on shit like that. That shit talk. Yeah. That's the next topic, bro. You're <laughs> hilarious, bro. You don't have no. I no. mean, I do, but. You need to have some good topics. I think you already. I think someone's done this one before. It don't matter. Why um, are dudes more loyal to their niggas than their girlfriends? Nobody ever asked me that. Okay. Uh, Why are dudes more loyal to their friends than their females? I don't, I don't know how to answer that. Answer. I don't, cause I'm, I, it, that never been me. 
I'm more loyal to my niggas than my girl. That ain't that never been me. You have you seen your homeboys do it? Nah, I, you don't I, ever see your homeboys that's always up their bro ass. They bitch like you can tell she like. I wouldn't say because I, well, I was one of them. I was that dumb female that's like, if my nigga say he ready for me to come, I'm coming. Like, I'm gonna drop everything. So like. That ain't been dumb. You just really fuck with the uh, fuck with the dude. That's mm, all that is. You went dumb. But then it would be the other dumb. way around. Motherfucker would be up their friends' ass, or they like go places with their friends. Then when it come to me, like maybe, just maybe. Maybe it was. Cause I can relate to this. Maybe I'd rather go be with my homeboys than be with you. Cause you annoy the hell out of me. Oh, then why be with somebody? No, 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 no. You just annoy me at that time, and I don't want to get away. So every day. You know what I'm saying if it's everyday thing, then that's a problem. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not saying my girl annoy me, but I'll be telling my girl like, yes, we need our space. Like. It ain't healthy for you to be up under somebody 21st seven. That's not healthy at all. I would never agree to that. Like all that clingy shit, I don't I don't agree to that shit. See, I'm not with but, just the full clingy, but, but like But listen, like I'm saying like I don't agree to that clingy shit. That's why I set boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell my girl, like, hey, you know, we need our space. No disrespect. You know I love you a lot, I love being around you, but being around each other too much, that's unhealthy. You gonna kiss all the bad me. You gonna kiss the bad energy, you gonna kiss the attitude. Me being pissed off for no reason because we're around each other too much. You but know what I'm saying? Then you have to think that if you're in a relationship, the goal is marriage. And then when you're married, you most likely you're living together. So you can't just get away or get that space no. that you need all the See, time. See, I don't believe I, so. I don't. I don't. I do not believe in that. Well, you can. I'm not saying yeah, you can't go out but, with the guys and get drinks stuff. Yeah. But it's very hard. Like, even if it, it say it's midnight, we get into it after a shower or whatever. And your partner's arguing with you. What are you, what are you going to do? Just go lay on the couch? Like... I feel like you and your partner shouldn't have to separate. Like, yeah, y'all need each other's space, but when it's in certain certain circumstances, yeah, 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 yeah. like, okay, I agree with that as well. Don't be leaving when we arguing. Don't be laying yeah, on the yeah, couch. That ain't right. To yeah, me that ain't right. Yeah, that, yeah, shit. that part not right. Cause when I argue, it's like I want to get this shit over with, so I ain't gotta deal with this shit no more. So if we gonna argue, we are gonna argue for two, three hours, so we can get this shit over with. You feel me? But. I just don't believe in a whole around each other 24 7 shit even with kids i just don't believe in that like like i said like we living together right we got kids together cool we're gonna see a lot of each other but like being around each other all the time seven days a week 24 hours, 24 hours that shit I'm is saying, crazy like... to me i don't feel like no human should be like that no human. You better be. You better be at work. I better be at work. We better have some alone time to get because yeah, that's a long time. That's it. That's it. Just work. Hell no. I just. I've, I've never believed in that, bro. Like, no, nah, that, that's not healthy. That's not healthy at all. You feel me? I wouldn't call it toxic either. I'm just saying, like, I think it's more of my insecure side. That's like, okay, if they're with me, I know they're not fucking up. But then, see, that's probably what I it is. Used to uncomfortable and yeah. trusting them, then I'm like, get the fuck away. <laughs> Back the fuck up. Like I always told myself, I, I hate a clinky motherfucker. You feel me? But I ain't gonna lie, I've learned to be clinky. Or I love being around my girl. It gotta be the right person, like for sure. Yeah. Like I love being around my girl five days a week. Seven is doing too much. Not gonna lie to you, it's doing a little bit too much. Hopefully, I um. So. I don't, I, think she, I don't think she mine. I told her I won't put this in my video. So, the other day, what's today? Tuesday? Yeah. Friday was my girl's birthday. Uh, Saturday was, oh wait, no, it was last night. <laughs> okay. This is a scenario. So, no, this is not a scenario. This is real deal, real life. Uh, Friday was my girl's birthday, right? Okay. She know the shit I got going on, so certain needs that it's not really need to be met because of what I got going on. But I tried to meet them needs and that made her so happy. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say needs, wants. Mm -hmm. Wants. I actually, no, I met those wants. I'm surprised I pulled off my damn self, you feel me? Because of what I got going on. I'm not gonna go into detail, but she was so happy 
We went crazy that night. You feel me? Mm-hmm. We went crazy that night. Interesting. We talked about it either yesterday or Monday. Yes, it was Monday, huh? Yeah. So Sunday, we talked about oh, yesterday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I think we talked about yesterday or Sunday. I said, I think I said something like, why you, why you, uh, no, no, no. We was talking about it. She was like, yeah, I didn't do it because I want to. Because I wanted to or I wanted it. I said, what the fuck? I said, why you do it then? She said, because I love you. I said, you had sex with me because you love me? I said, that's a thing? Um, that's a thing, bro. It, it definitely bu- is. Big. It fucked my head up. I'm not going to lie to you. I said, you had sex with me because you love me? Not because you horny or you wanted it. Because you love me? She said, yeah, I'll show you my appreciation. I said, bro, what the fuck? So I put it, I put that in my notes. I said, this is gonna be a talk for lucky question. You ever did that? Yes, cause honestly, sex is a motherfucking privilege because it does take, I mean, I don't know, obviously, because I'm not a guy, how it kind of goes on y'all's bodies and all women are different, but honestly, then it does for men. Okay. Um, and I've had times where, I don't know, like your man's doing what he's supposed to do. You just, yeah, like how she said, appreciation. Like you don't just want to just do it, but it's not that you're just being forced to do it. Yeah. But it's just, I don't know, just like a man rubbing a girl's feet. Like it's not that he just always wants to do it, but he's just trying to please his bitch. Yeah. His woman. Thank you. Uh, cause that shit be dropping the fuck out of me. Yeah, me and my bitch had to do it. You and your what, bro? What the fuck? I'm a female. I'm used to calling my friend. Like, what's that bitch? I'm you. Um. <laughs> um. But yeah, bro. Um. I said I don't know. I said no offense. Don't take this wrong way. What I'm gonna say. I said I don't think I ever did that to you or for you. Had sex with you because I love you. I don't think I've ever did that. I feel like men's hormones are way different. That's what I'm, like, that's what I said. I said I think we just different because I have sex because I'm horny. Yeah. I ain't even have sex if it's I don't. It's more of a, it's like a game for men, but it's kind of a, a, a sport and a hobby for women. If that makes sense, kind of not. Really. I get the hobby part. I don't get the sport part because it's sport like the game. First off, when a girl's putting it work in, I mean, I know it's a workout for y'all. Yeah. But girls, most men are doing most of the work. Right. So when girls actually go and put that work in, that shit is a fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> shit. But I was like, bro, that shit real. We was in the kitchen. She said, I had sex with you because right. I love No, no, we was in her three. This nigga. I said, damn, bro. But that also, that made, that be making me like overthink too. Because if I was a man, that would make me feel bad. Like, in a sense, but at the same time, I'd be like, you why know, would I you appreciate feel, Why would you feel bad? Because then I'll feel like, damn, like, the shit that I wouldn't be felt appreciated or loved without her giving me that? Nah, 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 nah. See, I think like, I thought, I, I felt bad because I was like, damn, you didn't want to, so you forced yourself? Like, you didn't want to? But that's not what she was saying. But, but yeah, I yeah, what she was saying, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, that's like, not what I was thinking. You didn't like, want to? What the fuck? I thought you wanted to. You act like you wanted to. So I said, you be faking this all the time? She said, no, nigga. I said, oh, okay. I said, what the fuck? You know, I got to thinking too hard. Would you forgive? Girlfriend, if she slipped up, like cheating. Yes. Like would I forgive? Is it? Would I forgive her? Would you forgive her and continue y'all's relationship? What would you do? Now this all comes into play, bro. Let me tell you, we have a kid together. Talking about the girl I'm with now. This ain't just mm-hmm. nothing. The girl I'm with now. We have a kid together. Mm-hmm. I've thought about shit like this. If she watched this, she gonna know, like, damn, this is what this nigga be thinking about. Like, I'm talking about shit like this. Like, if she cheated, bro, we have a kid together. I'm so big on the not wanting to co parent shit. I'm so big on that. I do not want to co parent. I want to be the same house. Like, so, you're gonna make it work. But I also told her this. I, I, I try not to. But when I get back, that shit is so fucking bad, bro. Like anybody that ever did something to me or crossed me the wrong way, bro. You have to scum. And they don't even know about it. That's crazy. They don't even know that I know what they did, but I but I know that they did it. So I had See, to do what I had to do. I and I had to bro, living like that. Bro, how? How you stop living like that? Because I'm a bitch. To you? Yeah. 
Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bruh. I'm gonna talk. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to you about this off camera. Um. Uh, yeah. So I, I told her, I said, I hope you don't ever do that. Please don't do that, bruh. Cause I'm gonna try my best not to do something. I'm gonna try my best, but bruh, it's like it just, it just like that. It ain't gotta be that same month, year, day. Just know, oh, you did that. I didn't forget. See, and that's the thing that I can't. And that's fucked up, and I'm trying not to why, be like that. Why, why continue why still be with that person? Someone. Like I just said, I'm so big on it, not wanting to cope. But that's, that's just shit. crazy. But and then I love like, my just leave. But no, but no, but then again, I love my girl so much that I don't want to leave. We got a kid together. But you did that fuck ass shit. Ah. Not even score me something, right? You can't if you're gonna get you can't get even. You gotta up the score if you're gonna if you're gonna do it. You gotta go hard. Like nah, see, I don't up the score. I, I even the score. There we go. I'm, I'm, the last dude that cheated on me, I fucked his dad. No, you didn't. I'm just kidding. No, no you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, but that would have been crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I really don't understand that though. Like, don't just leave. Like, I, I got over you know getting even. Like, you, it's not worth it. Like, this. motherfucker leaving or me leaving somebody like a motherfucker will realize. In a month, two span, they gonna realize. You sound like that's easy. It ain't. It, it ain't. It, when you've nah, been through nah, it plenty of times, it's see. Easy. When you've been through it plenty of times, it's easy. But that first month, that that first motherfucker, like, damn, you did that. That first. Nah, that ain't. That ain't easy. That that shit hard. Just well, no, nah, I ain't gonna lie, cause I ain't never got. I don't. I ain't. Yeah, I have got cheated on. I was gonna say you don't know. I've got cheated on. A girl messing with a girl. Okay. But that's bad. That's see, and at the time, it's still bad. See, no, listen, 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 listen. At the time, I was in, I was freshman high school. Niggas come to me like, bro, dude, ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. Like, she messing with a girl, bro. You know, just, bro. Nah, bro, cause I wouldn't. I was very, I would say homophobic. I wouldn't fuck with none of that. I can't admit, I was homophobic. I wouldn't fuck with none of that. And now you're like, no, if she even did that shit today, like cheat on me with another girl, like. It's, but it's still gonna be. What if she just asked you? If she asked me, if she go do that. I'm gonna say this. You want? Can I go do that? If you could go do it, why cannot? And we got an open relationship. You okay with that? If you okay so with it? So she's with girls in here with me. No, nigga, I'm girl, nigga, me. stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna hit you one more question. Yeah. Would you? You know what I'm No. Would you take a charge for your man? Your man, not a man, but your man. Um, your man. Listen, depends. listen, listen. listen. This scenario. Boom. Y'all crying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see them lights. Yeah. Is, that, is, that the, is that the noise? Man, it's noise. No. You see them lights. <laughs> Pull it over. Boom. Y'all got it. Let's see y'all. It ain't mine. Look over here too. And this nigga ain't mine. <laughs> I'm taking that as a no. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, it actually would depend. First off, you take that in the car. Okay. Second off, do I have any other charges on my you know, record? What does he have on his record? So, you know, you gotta think yeah. about stuff like that because for instance, say, you know, he's going through a case and he's dealing with some shit and he could be going away for a long time. Right. Then he takes that on top of it, then that just sets it off now. Like you're going away for a thousand years rather than just a hundred when I could have just took a little bit of Nigga, you could have said 20 years. And then two months. Mm. You know? You do two months? Two months ain't. Only time ain't be too bad. Only person I'm doing time for is my daughter. Hopefully she never does nothing or do anything crazy. But I ain't take no time for nobody. It was great. It just depends. My wife. My wife. And it gotta be somebody that like they've been loyal to me for a long time. They didn't show me like, like they're gonna damn. Down. They Why you got me in this damn situation. No, for real though. But Fuck. like I said, it depends the amount, it depends what charges on his and mine, because if it's some boo-boo shit, you taking your consequences cause what the fuck I look like. I'm too cute to be in jail. Like Yeah, that's what they're gonna do. That's what they're gonna do. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Ah, but y'all, that's it for the talks with Lucky. Savannah, thank you for coming for the third time. Yes, I really sir. appreciate it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned because it gets better, better, better.